If you're a fan of Big Little Lies, The Wire, or His Dark Materials, you likely already have a subscription to HBO Go or HBO Now. But now there's a new HBO service launching on May 27th, HBO Max. So what's the difference between all of HBO streaming services that have similar but confusing names? I'm going to tell you. First, we're going to talk about the comparisons and differences between HBO Go and HBO Now. And then we'll talk about what HBO Max will offer and what it could mean for the future of HBO. So let's get into the details and make sure to like and subscribe if you value what we do here at reviews.org. So there are two similarities and two differences between HBO Go and HBO Now. Let's start with the similarities because they're pretty straightforward. The most important similarity between the two services is the fact that you get the same content. You get your Silicon Valley, Ballers, and Westworld with both services. And the second similarity is you can stream all of your favorite shows on your smartphone, smart TV, tablet, and laptop. The two differences between HBO Go and HBO Now is how you get them and the monthly price. You get HBO Go with a satellite or cable TV subscription or with Amazon Prime, while HBO Now is a standalone streaming service, so you can just subscribe through the app. You can get HBO with services like DirecTV, Xfinity, Spectrum, Cox, and Verizon Fios. And you can get HBO Now through the Apple App Store, Google Play, Amazon App Store, the Roku Channel Store, and more. Now for the pricing. HBO Go can range anywhere from $5 to $20 per month, depending on your satellite or cable TV provider and the current deals. But on average, it's about $15, which is the same price as HBO Now. No matter where you download the HBO Now app, the monthly subscription price will be $15 per month. And guess what other HBO service will be $15 per month? HBO Max. The brand new streaming platform, HBO Max, will be launching on May 27th and it will be a combination of HBO, new original content, and licensed favorites that are separate from the HBO channel. You might have heard of HBO Max when the Friends reunion was announced because this was the streaming service the highly anticipated episode was going to release on. Which is still will, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Friends reunion production has been set back indefinitely. But all of the Friends episodes will live on HBO Max. HBO Max will also have Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Barry, Euphoria, Entourage, Game of Thrones, and so on. And it will also have new original content like Wall Street, which is a docu-series of Mark Wahlberg's life, Tokyo Vice, a series based on an American journalist's first-hand experience of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police, The Flight Attendant, a thriller series starring Kaylee Cuoco, and Love Life, a 10-episode rom-com starring Anna Kendrick. HBO Max has some pretty good original content lined up, but guess what? Other than the new original content and licensed favorites, you'll be getting the same content as you do with HBO Go and HBO Now. And this is where it gets a little confusing. If you currently have a subscription with HBO Now, you automatically get a subscription to HBO Max when it launches in May. So whether you sign up for HBO Max or HBO Now, you'll still be paying that same $15 monthly price for both services together with exactly the same content. But there are still a lot of unanswered questions, so bear with me. If you can get HBO Max with HBO Now and vice versa, then shouldn't they combine the HBO services together and call it one name? Also, we do know that if you have an HBO subscription through an AT&T company like DirecTV or AT&T TV Now, you'll get HBO Max as well. But how about if you're an HBO Go subscriber with another satellite or cable company? And will HBO Max users need to download a new app? Or will we have to navigate through three streaming apps? Luckily, AT&T has a great track record of keeping things simple and understandable. Not. But anyways, I hope you leave this video more clarified on the similarities and differences between the three HBO services. And if it's still unclear exactly how all this is going to work, make sure you're subscribed to see our take on HBO Max right after it launches on May 27th. But I recommend getting either HBO Now or HBO Max, since they're basically the same thing, to get everything HBO has to offer for just one price. If I helped you in any way, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video with us.